Today's episode of Insta Gaming Daily is brought to you by Felix Gray. You can get free shipping and free returns on your order by going to felixgrayglasses.com slash no. Hey everyone, welcome back to Insta Gaming Daily for Monday! Clap a little bit. You know, clap a little bit. I know it's Monday, it's the beginning of a week. Here's an interesting question. Did Steam just get robbed? The billion dollar company, they get robbed? Just just like now? I don't know, maybe they did. Great train robbery. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> did Steam leave its doors unlocked or was it flashing too much cash while partying with his friends downtown? Lawrence does that all the time. Oh yeah, I like bringing out that watch. Woo, right, making it rain. Wait, oh, here we, hold on. Got a guess pass for a movie, an AMC movie? Make it rain. Uh, nothing quite that dramatic, really, right. like Lawrence is doing, but a crowdfunded game that was previously coming to Steam has pulled the old switcheroo. Oh yeah, it's coming too, drumroll please. Uh-huh. That's right, the Epic Game Store! Oh, of course. Yep. At least pretend to be surprised this time, please. Yeah. Uh, Somebody, guess no. what, people are pissed about what looks like a pretty obvious bait and switch. Yeah, tell us some more, Lawrence. Yeah, this game is interesting mostly because I'm sorry I kept confusing it with Outer Worlds. It's not that. <laughs> sorry guys, <laughs> Outer Wilds, yeah, not quite the highest profile of games. It sounds really cool though. No shade being thrown here, but yeah. it's another example of Epic using its Fortnite cash to lure another game into its tasty, soft ecosystem. It's like the back of its van. You want to make higher ad rev? Come in here, I have a camcorder. Well, tell us more about this game that isn't the Other Worlds uh, that's been <laughs> stolen. It's a crowdfunding space exploration game called Outer Wilds. In the Outer Wilds, you play as an astronaut camping out near your rocket, but you only have 20 minutes until the sun goes supernova and kills you. That's kind of a Groundhog Day mechanic, sort of. Also seems a bit similar to another game called Minute, where you just have 60 seconds to play before you die, but you like keep items and stuff, so it's basically you gotta run around and try oh, to get to the end of the game before cool. minutes up. Outer Wilds raised more than $126,000 from nearly 1,000 backers on Fig, and was initially planned to release in 2016 on Mac, Linux, and Steam, but a lot can change in just a few years. Yeah, they still don't have a release date yet, but in a recent update to the game's Fig page, the developers at Mobius Digital wrote that the game will be coming to the Xbox One and... Drum roll again. The Epic Games. Uh, oh, I, oh. Oh, touch my pearls. <laughs> the devs didn't come right out and say it was an exclusive, but they pretty obviously left out Steam, leading many to believe that it is another timed exclusive on the Epic Games Store. Ah, uh, yeah, now the game's Steam page just has the dreaded TBD release date. Pour one out. Uh, Pour one out. Yeah, yeah. Tumbleweed rolling on by. Is this actually a really big deal, Lawrence? So this is in weird territory because when it was crowdfunded, it was listed as coming to Steam. Uh, and the crowdfunding site still has Steam and Linux as supported platforms for the game, meaning these details might still be getting worked out. The team says that their goal is to quote, bring the game to your preferred platform as quickly as possible. So that's nice. Uh, <laughs> if you're a Linux enthusiast, as quickly as possible, guys, we're working on it. There are dozens of them. Yeah, they also shouted out their partnership with Epic, along with Annapurna Interactive and Xbox. Those partnerships, they said, have, quote, enabled us to make the game better and more accessible for everyone who will play it. So uh, that's probably a reference to money. Of course it is. Yeah, right? Because mm. as we all know, Epic Game Store is promising devs a bigger revenue cut than when they get on Steam. They're also kind of doling out checks to secure exclusives, not to mention Annapurna and Xbox are probably on board helping fund the project too. If this game was supposed to come out in 2016 and it's 2019 and they haven't come out yet, they're still paying salaries and burning money. Yeah, they, so, needed, they needed more cash. Yeah, that money's gotta come from somewhere, so this is probably what that is. Yeah, they, I mean, $126,000 isn't really a lot to keep game no. development going. I mean, where are these guys based out of? Good question, let me see. Their mother's somebody's, house? Somebody's basement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you've been paying attention for the last few months, you can probably guess uh, what happened next. Yeah, the game's backers were furious and immediately ripped into the devs for getting into bed with Epic. The announcement post got a slew of replies, all of which were pretty negative. Yeah, one backer, Gunslinger Barra, wrote, quote, I've been looking forward to this game since that public beta demo released years and years ago. As one of your earliest fans, it sucks I have to wait even longer to play on my platform of choice. That's true. I mean, it, it was promised, so. It was. Another backer, uh, Bryn P wrote, way to f your original backers who pledge for a Steam key, guys. Hope sucking on Epic's nice juicy teat is worth it. Jeez. I mean, it will be. The game's announcement video has also been downloaded to Oblivion on YouTube and over on the game's subreddit. It's not any better. One poster named Dier called the move unethical and included a link for people who wanted to request a refund. They wrote, quote, I do not wish to support the Epic store at this time. It's feature incomplete. It's a potential privacy risk. And unfortunately, this means I can't support the Outer Wilds team as much as I believe in the project and I'm excited to see how far it has come. To say the least, this is not the first time that people have been mad about a game becoming an epic exclusive after people thought it would be available on Steam, right Lawrence? It's just kind of become an assumption. If it's on PC, it's gotta be on Steam. That's yeah. starting to change. There've been a lot of them. Epic has made exclusive deals with high profile games like The Division 2, Metro Exodus, and most recently Borderlands 3. And they've got a kind of an ongoing deal with Ubisoft too. So that's probably not gonna end anytime soon. Lots of developers have gone over to the Epic store because the company's giving them a bigger share of revenue, like you mentioned, Adam. In Epic's case, they get 88% of the revenue versus 70% on Steam. That's a huge, I mean, that's 18%, well, that's a lot. 
That's a lot of money, that, lot. especially when theoretically all things are equal. I know a lot of people like to throw around that, well, your sales would be higher on Steam. Fortnite, man! Like, <laughs> there, there is data out there saying that like the Epic Game Store client is installed on a whole slew of an audience that doesn't even use Steam. So that's potentially a new market on top of getting a higher revenue cost. Wow. I guess, is there anything to say about getting in early before the Epic Game Store becomes like, the Steam, well, before absolutely. it becomes the thing that they want it to eventually become? So you're like, well, there's only six games on here and I'm one of them. 100%. At this stage, when Epic is hungry to give out promotion or store placement, plus just checks, you'd kind of be crazy, especially if you're an indie dev, to say no to that deal. It's true, right. Especially if, like these guys, you're in downtown LA, I know. paying uh, yeah, oh, wow. American Health money. Insurance and, yeah, and everything. Oh, okay. so. Well, I don't know, uh, Lawrence, if you've heard, but most indie game developers are Filthy rich. That's true. <laughs> Epic boss Tim Sweeney has said that it's the revenue split that's driving Epic's hardball tactics. He's argued that Steam has benefited from having a virtual monopoly in the PC marketplace and said that Epic would stop doing exclusive deals if Steam would agree to a similar revenue share. I, I really like that stance. That's so awesome, right? Is it just a bluff though? Because he knows right, from yeah. business side, they're like, they're not going to do they're that. They're never going to do that. Even yeah. if it's not a bluff, I mean, it's a good PR move. And if Steam adjusts, they've done a solid for everyone else in the industry by increasing the revenue payouts. So they don't lose even if Steam matches them on this. But people who are used to Steam have been annoyed at having to install another launcher, while others have been understandably pissed after pre-ordering some games on Steam, only to see them move to the Epic Store. In response, we've seen the usual review bombs of games like Borderlands 3, and even allegations that the Epic Game Store is Chinese spyware. <laughs> Was there a follow-up to that? Is that? Basically, there were some processes that some people were tracking that were doing some questionable things, but actual sysadmins went in there and was like, okay, you don't know how Windows works. Huh. There's a reason this looks suspicious on the surface, but Windows is just really weird, so this is, this this is totally normal. Oh, okay. It's kind of what it came around to. I'm You're crazy. crazy. Obviously, The Outer Wilds is a much lower profile game compared to a Borderlands 3, but the fact that Epic grabbed it also tells us something about their plans. They seem to be in this for the long haul. Yeah. They're not trying to just make a big splash with some high profile exclusives. Yeah, if they're also grabbing up crowd-funded games that made $126,000, that means they're casting a really wide net, right, Lawrence? They are probably in the enviable position of being out there with a blank checkbook that yeah. they can cut to anybody for any exclusive at all. As long as it hits it like a bare minimum of quality cutoff, consumer interest. They're just out there trying to buy up the market. Seeing this in this way, it's nothing really new. If I want to play God of War, I have to buy a PlayStation to play. If I want to play Halo, you know, PC or Xbox, like exclusives have been a thing for a very long time. Just look at Nintendo. No one really gets mad about that. But I guess the way in which Epic is doing it, it feels so mobbish. Well, the difference right. is Epic's not making it, nor are they paying for it to be made, no. unless you count the like whatever oh, exclusivity check they're yeah. cutting. Sure. Yeah. They're just buying exclusives away from other platforms is what people are upset about. I kind of get it. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, it is just a launcher. A long time ago, Halo was supposed to come to the Mac. Where is that? Oh, it did come to the Mac eventually. So. <laughs> it's safe to say Epic is going for an all-out war against Steam. They've got the dragon, and they're going to burn down Steam's last castle, just like last night's Game of Thrones. Spoiler. No matter how many innocent <laughs> civilians are inside. Kickstarting games is really nothing new. We've been seeing it for years, but I think this is the first time where things are being promised, and then people are now picking things up. We've seen this before with like Kickstarters with Mr. Science Theater 3000, which right. Bruce, you were a backer. Yeah, I, I, a long time ago in 2015, I kickstarted Mystery Science Theater when it first hit Kickstarter. I was really excited about it. I was like, oh, cool, they're gonna make the show. And they're like, we'll promise you a digital download and a poster and you know, t-shirts and all that other shit. Gave them 175 bucks and I was like, make the show. And I think it was like six months later, they were like, oh, we're coming to Netflix. And I was like, well, that's weird. Netflix is a billion dollar company and I'm sure they gave them money for this show. So I felt sort of at the time a little betrayed. At the same time, the show came back and I sure. liked it. But you know? the distribution model in that case was they said they were gonna give you a DRM free digital, digital download, download yeah. which they eventually gave you, right? Yeah, absolutely. So in this yeah. case with Outer Wilds, they should at least honor yeah. the Steam keys to those backers. who originally backed it, right? Absolutely. That, that just makes sense. That's just good business. It's getting into a weird territory. For one, Fig is just weird in general that you're asking laymen to be investors. I feel like then you owe them transparency about how your monetary situation is, Absolutely. which is also super bad if you're a private company. You're just laying your, your financials out there publicly for all to see, so that's what makes it weird. So when you take 125K from people and then you turn around and like say, well, imply we had to do certain business dealings to stay in business, you kind of need to justify that to them by saying, here's our financials, here's how much money we had, here's how we'd go out of business in two months if we didn't take this check from Epic, so we mm -hmm. did. Now we can ship the game and hopefully stay in business. I'm not saying that's the case, but you kind of owe people that narrative, especially if you're gonna just switch. Yeah. Yeah. This is walking a weird line of like, when is it actually bait and switch? Because they didn't enter this thinking they were going to swap it. Oh, no, I'm sure. That wasn't the tactic. Yeah, it's just three years ago. You could play Unreal Tournament like I did on the thing, and that's all that was there. Yeah. yeah. It's tough to call because they probably made the right business decision based on the money. And they need to get their investors on board with that or give them an option to give them what they said they would give them. I will play devil's advocate here for the rich indie devs out there. <laughs> but $126,000 over three years, it's nothing. They're paying their employees next to nothing. Yeah. So my guess is they were about to go out of business and they needed something. And 
And I'll just chalk this up to the naivete of them being a young indie developer or young just business. moving, yeah, basically young business. I don't know how these people actually are, but this is something they probably did not see coming. They wanted to just make a game and distribution is obviously secondary. But from where we're standing, if you just want to look at it in a black and white manner, they look like the bad guys because they took money from someone that everyone hates. So maybe give your backers a little extra, a little something, something, mm -hmm. and then maybe cut the game developers a little slack. It's just 12 people. Divide 126,000 by 12. 126,000 might Over maybe three cover years. one of their salaries yeah. for one year. You are allowed to be mad at the situation, sure. obviously, Absolutely. especially if you were a background fig or any sort of we Kickstarter. Give permission. Keep in mind, they're making an average of $10,000 a year. Or maybe be like your old pal Bruce, watch Bruce Through Science on Netflix, and then be like, hey, it's all right, it's on Netflix, no big deal. <laughs> Today's episode of Inside Gaming Daily is brought to you by Felix Gray Glasses. These are an online service that will help you fulfill your prescription or non-prescription glass needs over the internet. They also offer blue light blockers if you're into that. Um, there is some science out there basically saying that blue light can make it difficult for you to sleep or mess with your circadian rhythms. So if you're trying to get that back on track, you can check that out. They also offer blue light blockers with no yellow lens tint, although to be honest, Yellow lens tint just make you look like a pro gamer. You gotta wear those, gotta wear those pro gamer goggles. So maybe, maybe don't get the non-tinted ones. I'm just throwing that out there. If you want to wear glasses the inside gaming way, you wear hard yellow tint all the time. But that's up to you, and Felix Gray gives you that option. Uh, you can get free shipping and free returns on your Felix Gray order by going to felixgrayglasses.com slash no. Once again, that's prescription, non-prescription, and reader glasses, all available at felixgrayglasses.com slash no for free shipping and free returns. Thank you, Felix Gray. Life Finning. The 8.2 update has become a rallying cry for Fortnite players who feel like Epic isn't listening to them, which honestly is just code for not doing exactly what I want, exactly when I want it. Some uh, popular streamers even resorted to playing Uno instead. Oh, boo! Oh, how dare they play another video game? Oh, you don't They're play so our free game? Uh, this all started back in February 